gang, thanks for joining us. My name is Captain Bob Woodard with Pelagic, and today we're looking at the custom LNH 33 walkaround. It's an East Coast boat, but we took this boat over to the West Coast. We've outfitted it for West Coast fishing, and it's a hell of a ride. Stay tuned. The boat cruises at about 30 knots with a pair of Cummins direct drive inboard turbo diesels. We're also going with a Furuno Navnet 3D electronics system, top of the line. We've got a couple ICOM radios. We outfitted the boat with a West Coast bait tank and there's also a slammer that came with the boat. So we've got the capacity to carry about six scoops of bait. We've got an offshore bait tank there. We've got the uh, Marlin drop back baits always ready to roll on this boat. The spread is incredible. With the riggers that we have, we're able to deploy about seven lines. Uh, normally when we're running the Marlin spread, we'll keep a couple lines short for Wahoo or Tuna, and then about five Marlin lines behind those, including probably two teasers. So it's quite a spread, and things get busy when stuff gets going on, but if you have the right crew, you can do that. now. If you're working with a lesser crew, you've got to kind of determine your spread based on who your crew is and how quick they can operate. If you have that many lines in the water and everybody's not on their game, you can get in trouble in a hurry. When the fish gets close to the boat, we normally get the angler situated in the cockpit. We're able to back down on the fish very effectively. I can turn around and run the boat with our helm central shifters uh, accordingly, and the boat backs down incredible. This boat is designed to back after game fish. It's one of the most deluxe game fishers out there and uh, we're able to get on these fish very quick, get a release if that's the case. Uh, normally we won't kill the billfish unless we're in a tournament and the fish meets the minimum requirements. 99% of our fish are released and it gives us the ability to get a quick release, get back in the game and get another fish. As you notice, the boat has a quiver of rod holders built in, gunnel rod holders with swivel gimbals on them. And this was for the original application of East Coast sword fishing. But brought out here for the West Coast, it works incredible for our nighttime sea bass applications and also for drifting with halibut. Another West Coast feature that we've added to the boat is a pulpit and an anchor windlass. We do anchor quite frequently here on the West Coast, whether it's for fishing for uh, sea bass or spending the night in an island if we're out on a marlin trip, say to the Channel Islands, San Clemente, Catalina, something of that nature. Uh, the windlass that we went with on this is a Maxwell. It's extremely strong. It gets it up quick. We've got 200 feet of chain. We've got an additional 300 feet of rope. And uh, normally for our shallow water applications, we go all chain. And we have the ability to switch out to a smaller piece of chain and more rope for our deep water applications, such as five, 600 feet. Now at trolling speed, this boat is highly efficient. And our trolling speed varies depending if we're looking for the uh, blue marlin, or Wahoo versus, let's say, a little bit slower trolling speed we might utilize for the striped marlin, anywhere between seven and a half and eight and a half knots. Uh, this boat at eight knots burns only about three and a half gallons combined fuel for both engines per hour. So at three and a half gallons an hour, we're doing about eight knots, and the spread is unbelievably clean. The props on this boat, there's not much white water to the whole design. I give them full credit. It's just a super clean boat. We can run our big cut face lures, our, our plungers and stuff of that nature for the blue marlin very close to the corner. The direct access hydraulic lift on the hatch makes maintenance on these Cummins turbo diesels a breeze. Another feature this boat has is a large cockpit transom door. In the case that a fish comes up dead, a large marlin comes up dead or it's a tournament situation uh, where we might be in the money, it gives us the ability to slide the fish literally inside of the boat here and run for the harbor without worrying about putting a fish on a swim step, something of that nature. It's really a true game boat. Hey gang, hope you enjoyed the ride today on the 33 Custom L&H Walkaround. We'll see you next time.